my point is it is okay, we will handle it, but what if, what if I will change the measurement? I am more interested in case number 2, regression we will handle tomorrow and uh, what is meant by the future? Future means if this is the line, if everything is okay, it is likely to go on the same, we call it as extrapolation. You know, we play safe, we say it might be possible tomorrow walk will bro war broke up and this is gone. What happened in Kolkata, what happened in Bhuj, 1 lakh people die and uh, you predicted the sales will go up, the entire city go went down. So, we said if everything is okay, then the sales will go down, if there is no other variable, correct. But the point is, what if people do not tell us about the advertisement, case number 2. So, we have opened several fronts, but let us come back to the case 2, Likert etc. I will discuss tomorrow and just tell me, what if people do not tell me about the advertisement. Sales I could get from some figures, from government figures, advertisement I asked and people refused to tell me. Now, I told, asked them, okay, if your advertisement is greater than 20, consider it high and otherwise low, answer me in high and low, it is okay. If somehow people did not give me actual advertisement figures, I simply asked them, can you reply simply in high and low, do not give me the exact figure just tell me high or low, it means these people said this is high and these people said this is low, low high. So, in our case any figure less than more than 20 is high less than this, my point is I just want you to draw the graph, please draw the graph, I hope you are comfortable with, please do it once. You will understand why regression, why hypothesis, what else these things are. So, this is case number 2. So, have you noted one thing I have changed the measurement? This is still metric ratio, is it metric now or something else? Non metric, which one? Nominal or ordinal? Ordinal, that is non metric. So, now how to make the graph? In the graph, there is general convention, dependent variable comes on y axis, independent comes on x axis. So, there are only 2 points, earlier there were so many points. Now, will there be only 2 points low and high? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. There are only 2 points. So, what sort of graph you will make? So, high 48, high 48 somewhat here, high 52, 52, high 64, Will it be in the same line? Yes. It will be in the same line yes. and for the low 35, 38 this, this will again be same line. Yes. Now, it will be like this. Earlier can you see this was a dotted dotted anywhere and I said draw a line. Now, if I will go again with the same thing that I know regression, draw a line which should pass through all the points, can you do it? You draw a line and at the maximum it will pass through 2 points any 2 points of your choice, is not it? Can you draw a line which is passed through all the points as is the previous case, which passes in between the maximum, not possible? That means, regression will not help us. Do you understand the limitation of regression? Regression works only when there is a pattern like this, 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 this and you say draw a line which pass through all of them. Here we cannot do that, there must be some other mechanism and this mechanism is we get something, take their mean, take their mean okay. and let us go to a procedure, are the two same? The answer will be yes or no. We will go to a procedure, we will ask are the two same? Whatever we will do, just tell me if it says yes, what is the meaning of? What inference you can draw out of it? think about it just a, for a moment. Sales when advertisement was low are this and this is the mean, sales when advertisement was high are among these and this is their mean. Our statistical procedure says there is no significant difference between these two. What interpretation you draw out of it? Is he correct? It means I will say dear do not look at the advertisement, 
whether you will have a low advertisement or a high advertisement you will get the same sales whatever the difference is coming it is just a you know very small difference it is not that much it is a not significant difference it is just little bit difference advertisement can I say advertisement is not related with the sales sales is not affected by advertisement you have low advertisement high advertisement sales will be whatever it will be right or wrong that is it when I am saying that these two are same I am not saying they are not different I am saying there is no significant difference when they are not significant it means it is just a matter of chance if you take a second sample might be this will be up this will be lower there is no significant it means when the two are not different it means the sales does not matter advertisement does not matter the sales will be whatever it is so I will say advertisement is not related with it okay number one if I will say no they are not same what inference you will draw are they same no they are not what it means it means one of them is high other is low okay which one of them is high looking at sales this figure this one is high it means when advertisement was high this was high when it was low it was low are the two related do we get the answer of the question or not are the two related it is not always regression required appropriate technique is required you got it if somebody is saying no no I will apply regression no we even without regression we will get it can we go for the future prediction if it says yes there is a significant difference if you get high you will get high if you got less than low what is what is the future prediction future prediction I cannot ask it when advertisement is 200 what will be sales remember in this case it was y is equal to a plus b x and essentially all the uh, one question was if x is equal to 100 what is y there was always a question for one marks if x is 100 what is y we cannot uh, here ask it because it is not in 100 it is in high or low I will ask please tell me whether you will keep high or low if you keep high I can guarantee it will be high if you keep low it will be low and how much if it is high how much will be sales I will say your sales will be this average and plus minus this can vary into this zone am I able to predict or not yes so not all the time it is necessary that only regression so look for what you have written in table number 2 when dependent variable is metric independent non metric you have written hypothesis testing so the procedure here it will be called as t test so do you understand why what is t test what it will do so t test we will essentially take two things we will say hey are they same and it will answer in yes no that is it and rest of the inference we will draw 